hello friends and welcome back to my channel and in today excel video we are going to see a unique trick that how can you count the multiple repetitive value only once in your data set so let's quickly go and explore this data set and see how can we build the solution together basically this data set is related to shipments against what orders has been got shipped out so basically one order has how many shipments it's calculating such kind of an information now if you closely look at this data set over here the set of these records over here now when we try to do the analyzing in the pivot table what it's going to do it's going to read one two three four five six so it's going to say that hey this order has six shipments where in fact if you see this order only has two shipments so it's this one and then there is another shipment which is over here now let me try to quickly build up the pivot table for you so let me go over here insert into the existing sheet and let's try to build it over here now when i put the order numbers into the columns and the shipment numbers will go into the values and i'm getting the sum of the values so i don't need the sum i need the count let me close over here so if you can see this shipment number which is three two two three uh, nine three two five hundred and this is saying as six so basically it's reading every row where we should need this number as two where this is one and this is two so this is the number of shipments we needed now this is a real business challenge it came to me and uh, that is a very easy solution my friends so let's do it together so what you need to do first thing is that you need to do and count for these shipment but it will be not a simple count it will be an incremental count so how can we do this one so let's go count ifs and i'm going to say this b2 instead of dragging it down i'm going to keep it back to its own reference which is b2 colon again b2 comma and i'm going to see again the cell reference of the shipment b2 okay and this range which is there the criteria range which is there i'm going to make it as an absolute reference and the criteria so if you click on the formula bar this reference the formula which is over here and you can press again f4 another f4 another f4 that will make your column as an absolute so i miss this one so let me put this as f4 f4 again close parentheses enter now when i will fill down this you can see there is something going wrong why because i have made the entire range as an absolute which is incorrect so usually this is a mistake what people usually do and then they are not able to get this formula correctly done you have to make sure only only the beginning should be the absolute and then the another one should be an incremental one so if you look this formula now it looks different b2 to b2 which is the beginning of the range then again it's taking b2 which is it's taking the information from here to here and when i come to this cell it's taking the information from here to here all the way so it's doing a count incremental count for all the shipment this is a very common mistake which happens and i have purposely did it in this video now we have almost reached to the solution it's very simple just wrap it with if function saying that if this equals to one then mark it as one else mark it as zero and then we'll come down and voila we have this information over here so now if you see we are getting the correct counts for each of our shipments let's go and add this to the pivot table come over here analyze field list and count the shipment now when i come over here and i'll go and refresh and you can see it's getting six why why it is getting six what is the reason it could be so this, it's a very simple problem what we are doing is basically we are again counting it 
but the pivot table counts that information again so we need to make sure that it is not stay as a count but it should go as sum so now if you see the records what we are trying to get is matching exactly what we need over here so this is reading as two shipments so let's me uh, let me show you this is the order which we have and again this is the shipments which we have and this is another shipment so this is reading the information as to isn't it amazing my friends wow this was really awesome so what you can do is that this count which you are seeing over here you can see that this one is the numbers of shipments is basically number of lines and this you can call the number of shipments so well we can even try it out let's try to change some order a shipment number to something else which is very unique over here and let's try to refresh the data set now you can see that this shipment order has two shipment and two lines so that's all for today my friends i hope you have enjoyed this video make sure that you like this video share it and subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you in my next video till then take care bye